completely wrecked my supposition that the spiritual father was a criminal. And obviously, he died before the spiritual gave her to him. It couldn't have been seen, because he was killed at the same time the two mysterious sisters met dead. Yet the frightened girl was dead when I arrived. That leaves only the nervous young man and myself. I wonder if... Oh my God! The nervous young man! He's no longer nervous! He's dead! That's what he has! <laughs> then that means, to heaven, I should have known it. The bloody cap in my suitcase, that was the clue. I should have known it. I walked in my sleep. <laughs> Curtain. Well, lovely, Norman. Well, I have to the 31 minutes. Oh, I must have taken some letters. Listen, Norman, you have to have a post in that opening scene. The curtain is just silly. Well, what can you suggest? You can't double it. You certainly can't cut it off. Mr. Kennedy, that's so happy with his imagination. Oh, are you sure it was imagination? If you did it my way, we wouldn't need a card. What's your way? Stan Zlopsky said that when you were a It's just because you don't know a good theater when you see it. It seems perfectly silly to ruin our whole show by not having a real course. That reminds me, Mark. When you see the body, give it a good loud scene so I can hear it outside. I didn't want to disturb Mr. Kenny. Oh, well, all right. But the same goes for all of you. Give a little more. This is a burlesque of a satirical murder mystery. Not a Sunday school pet. Yes, it's no one. Well, I think that's absolutely right. And I think Mr. Kenny will think so, too. See if we can ever get him up here. You're going out there anyway. I saw him once over there. He still had on that apron. The trouble is he keeps moving around. He won't stay in focus. Can anybody think of something that might calm him down? I don't think he makes sense. I said calm him, Kate. Not a bomb him. Doesn't hurt you. Just knock you out. I'm sure he'd love that. You would have to be back. Or, I know that. He's got to get him up here somewhere. I can take another bath. He's not here, man. I can't see him here either. Maybe he's in the kitchen. So he's mixing up a little butter. I should think if we told him how violent it was, he'd come up and see our performance. I think how he could refuse. <sighs> Anything doing yet? No, I wish I could see more of the room. Oh, Mr. Kenny, please come into the room. Oh, Mr. Kenny, you little rat. Oh, Mr. Kenny, you little rat. Come up, come up, wherever you're at. What do you want? What do you think? Sure. Oh. <laughs> Don't mind it, Mr. Kenny. It's a game he plays. I see. We were just hoping you might come on up. We're having a little problem this morning. And annoyed last night. We're we rehearsing. Yeah, yes, but this, that is exactly what I came up about. We're rehearsing Mostly Murder, the show you produce. It's awfully good, you know. It's still running on Broadway. He knows that, Dottie. Of course, we haven't had the advantages of your direction. Your production was a scream. Honestly, when the butler purchased the villain, I thought I'd quit. That's very kind of you. Oh, no, Mr. Kitty, we mean it. Yeah, yeah. that's great. Who wanted to let you and come up and see our performance? I'll make a note of it, not what I really We think you can help us. Yeah, some other time. You see, I'm in the midst of a coronary experiment downstairs, and I've seen her run out of flowers. So I wondered, well, could you spare a little flower? Here's a little flower. <laughs> We do have to them. I remember taking some flour to the coffee stand and putting it in the sugar can. I'd be glad to pay for it. Well, we had intended using it, but of Since course. Since it's you, to show you how much you think of you. We'll end it to you. I'm one condition. What's that? That you come up and see our show. Oh, yes, yeah, you can Good night. Mr. Kenny, you've got to see it. You want to see yourself in the theater. How do you expect to develop young actors if you won't give us a chance? Now, see here, I do use young actors. But <laughs> I, I make a practice to occur as unknown. Well, could you practice on us tonight? It only takes a little of your time. It means so much right there. <coughs> no, no, I'm afraid it's quite impossible. Could you talk over some more of those intriguing recipes? Well... I know one that's not good. That sounds interesting. Yeah, why don't you talk about your cookbook? Uh, as a matter of fact, I can train one now. Well, we'll certainly want to use it. Mm -hmm. It gives you over a hundred different ways of serving pheasants. <laughs> That's what we need. Pheasants is one of the finest of all. Can I do something on the stove? Oh, yes, of course. Wait a minute, Mr. Kenny. What about our play? We'd really like you to see it tonight. Well, that's not fair. Well, then we'll have to change the play. Well, I'm sorry, Mr. Kenny. Well, that's what we need. Pheasants is one of the finest of all. Can I do something on the stove? Oh, yes, of course. Wait a minute, Mr. Kenny. What have I seen you with? If I haven't seen you, how can I use you? I appreciate
appreciate all that. Can you do it? As soon as you're finished with uh, whatever it is. Gumbo, gumbo's the earth, that's the What's that? That's gumbo's the earth. Honey, Daddy, it's gonna make you think. Well, I've never heard of it. You never heard of gumbo's the earth? I thought everyone knew. Of course, knew. Mr. Kenny. Everyone knows. No, a water play. It's one of the only ones that existed. Most people think that originated in the Congo jungle region, but I have a secret theory that was really suspected by the people of Indian tribes. Wow. Is that so? Is that a Spanish farmer? No. Mr. Kenny, you said cookbook. Uh, as a matter of fact, I am just one now. Well, what about a play? Um, I don't think so. Mr. Kenny. You talk more about those intriguing recipes. Well, perhaps I give you a little time to see me. Oh, oh okay. Okay. I'll get you the flowers. You won't be sorry, Mr. Kenny. Our set is very elaborate. And we have a class. I wish you had some imagination. Johnny, will you set it in half? Johnny, me. Here you are, Mr. Kenny. Will this be not? Oh, yeah. Quite a good thing. Perhaps you want to taste the gumbo when it's finished? Oh, would you? We'd love to. Oh, I would love to, especially. <laughs> well, I'll go down and put my gumbo on the center. It's for two hours. Two hours? Yes. Well, we can do the whole show in two hours. Do you have much to prepare now? Oh, no. I'll have to do the now, but it's a team club, so we kept that one for a minute. Good. Then you'll be right back. As a matter of fact, I'm trying something new this time. Leaving out the leaf, and using fennel and slurry at the bed. It might make all the difference. You never can tell. Never can tell. Actually, most important, I'll have to put the gumbo in the center. Well, I'll have to do the whole show in two hours. Do you have much to prepare now? Oh, no. Actually, most important, I'm trying something new this time. Leaving out the leaf, and using fennel and slurry at the bed. It might make all the difference. You never can tell. Never can tell. Actually, most important thing is to chop then you put the chocolate beans back into their bushes, and as they simmered, not too hot. Oh, 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 oh. The texture and aroma still did not so the drink and hardly stand it. I can hardly stand it. It's worth it all, believe me. All the tasty stems fried to a delicate golden brown. I'm sure it's so good. It's too hard for me to the whole show. Sometimes you can use a doctor instead of shrimp. Oh, God! God's legend's gumbo. Are you serious, producer? A theatrical producer? Sounds like a nut to me. Well, we're doing well. I hope everything goes right, and nothing goes wrong. What could go wrong? I wish we had a corset opening scene. Well, we have it. All right. Now, look. I don't know how long it takes to put shrimp in a gumbo, but I vote we get ready. Take me in the longest. Okay, just pour it on. Yeah, but, uh, everybody? No, it's not going to work. Mark, you better help her. George, you can do it. Alright, George. Oh. Mark, you'll be good tonight, won't you? I'll do my yard, but so are you. Maybe you can do, maybe you can do both of us. I don't care about myself. I just want you to get something out of it. Honey, do you like me and ask me a job? We can tell you about it, can't we? Yeah, I mean, you can find a nice high house cop to show the problem. Mark, I won't be so much. I mean, I won't be able to do your present. I know you do. It's my right to see the turning point. Yeah, you might do. Even if it isn't, it's nothing happens. Mark, I swear I'll take care of you. I know you will. You have nothing to fear. No matter what. I won't, darling. So, uh, you wanted to go over to a blind, huh? No, it's not a fine thing. A respectable house like this. Listen, Norman, there's nothing wrong. Tell me Why have you done that way? You know the way you are. You're from the last summer. Why did you tell us? Because it's none of your business. Don't have to bite my head off. You didn't mean to, Daddy. We're under a lot of stress. We all have, but we can't worry about that right now. We have a show to do. You go in and get ready and uh, try to forget all that stuff tonight. <laughs> I was afraid this would happen. Afraid what would happen? They haven't time for anything like that. It doesn't take long. How can they act when their heads are full of junk? Glasgow said it makes you better actions when you're in love. Stan and Bob, he said that. Well, you wouldn't understand what he said. I think you're just afraid it's going to happen to you. Don't worry. But I am worried. You know, it could happen, and you may not know it until late. What are you talking about? Many days, people fall in love, and they don't realize they're in love until after she's married to somebody else, and then they live a tragic life until they're old and gray, and they finally realize they're a mistake. What mistake? Well, I'm going to my Monday, and I don't want to wait until I'm old and gray. Daddy. And that's why
understand. You know, it's not easy for a girl to, well, what I mean is, if I weren't leaving my man, I won't, but since I am, well, that's why I told you I left, so I thought you ought to know. <laughs> Look, Scotty, concentrate. Now, in very simple words, what are you trying to say? You won't be mad? No, Dottie. I love you, Norman. Oh, that's fine. Wait a minute. Scotty, you're a sweet kid, and, and I like you, but... But what? You have to get that out of your head. Why? 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 Damn it, I don't know why. You just Norman! It. it doesn't make any sense. You don't have to help me. I don't care. Just say you're not angry with me. I'm not angry with anybody. It's just that when you want to get some place, you have to keep driving ahead. You can't let yourself be sidetracked. And look, Daddy, even if I weren't love with you, can't you see it's not right? You just can't afford to get married. But I love you, that makes it right. You're thinking with your emotions. You don't realize oh, it's over Daddy crying. <laughs> or with Pete, Mr. Kenny. I don't know, but why don't we run through the opening again? It couldn't hurt any. I certainly understand it. Hard take! George, snap it off, we're ready to start! Yeah, well, is everybody happy? We're not picture sure. All right, is everybody ready? Wait a minute, we forgot the court. Every time I see that thing, I'm like, Well, there's nothing we can do about it, all right? Wait a minute. <clears throat> The spirit says the girl who saw the murder must rise. Just walk to the bed and pull away the blanket. No, no, no! Don't let anyone move. Who are you? Oh, I'm Mr. Butler. These poor touch. What is this, William? Ah, damn it, Mark! You can't be laughing. I'm sorry, but it's cousin. Look at my dear dead sister. I think it's pretty funny too. It does take a lot of imagination. I mean, every time I pull a knife, I'll pull the bullet up. And then I have to say this is just about a blood. Do that all around. Now listen, anything happens in Mr. Kenny's here, you can't break up like this. I'm sorry, just cushion. Well, we'll just have to improvise. Stanislavski? Yes, Stanislavski. I'm telling you all right now, if anything goes wrong with our show tonight, I'm going to improvise. I mean, come on, this is our big chance. Well, can't you see the video if we can get in a hurry? Maybe Mr. Kenny would be the court. Where can we find a court for this time tonight? We ought to have one. A female. It's Mr. Kenny. Let him in, will you, George? Here you go, George. Lucky to get this seat. I got one. Thank you. 
We'd like you to know that we appreciate you coming up here. Even if you tell us afterwards that you didn't like the show. You can tell that when it's over. Well, I figured I'd better get it in now. We may not feel like it later. Is everybody ready? Play it, kids. Ready, Mr. Kenny? Twice. Play it, kids. Curtain. The spirit says, the girl who saw the murder must rise and walk to the bed and pull away the blanket. No, 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 no! Don't make anyone move. Are you all right? Are you all Oh, no. You're dead! I don't think she's going to be dead. That's all I've done. I've had this before. She wants to rehearse the play of course. I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Kenny. What have you done besides that? Can we begin again? What do you mean? Well, some people have seen the same the scene between the butler and the pistol gazer. It was too gruesome, too horrible. But that's the part for the play. Yes, I know. Frankly, I hope that scene has a tremendous eyes on this field, but no one knew it was supposed to be funny. We'll plug it for everything it's worth. We'll see. As I'm flying here for a while, I'm thirsty. I want to get you You're thirsty? Yes, I am. Well, we better use the corn. No, Tony. Wait a second. Of course you think you are. I'll give you something nice and refreshing to drink. Okay. Are you okay with this for just one more minute? Then we'll go right through it. Here you go, Muriel, darling. Drink you down. I hope there isn't anything alcoholic. Oh, no, no. Thank you. That was very good. How do you feel? Fine. Do you feel dizzy? Certainly not. What have you done? <laughs> what have you done to her? Who would hurt her a bit? Mickey Finn? King versus Taker, senior. Think nothing of it. I'll do it for you someday. No, thank you. Can't even look dead. I need to wake up and find Kate in bed with me. Blood, blood all around. <laughs> there, I know what a fish cake feels like. It's, uh, you're all satisfied? I think we're all satisfied. All right, let me do this again now. <laughs> Ready? Curtain. The spirit says, the girl who found the murder must rise. She's walking back and pulled away the blanket. No, no! Kind 
You look good too? Yeah. Look, officer, I look good too. <laughs> we all do. This is Moss the Murder. Yes, but I'm Oh, the brain of the game, huh? Listen, yeah. all I want to find out is why did you scream? Because I had to, officer. Well, what are you trying to hide? Nothing, officer. Once and for all, officer, there has been no crime. Sounds very suspicious to me. Do you have any means of identification? Certainly, Mrs. Garner, she's the landlady. Mm -hmm. She can tell you who we are. Mrs. Garner, tell me we live here. <laughs> Mrs. Garner, please. Oh, oh, you mean really? Of course, really. <laughs> <laughs> These policemen are going to get up to something. Oh, I thought they were in it too. Oh, dear. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's wonderful. It's a famous book, Murder Dog. And no one's inside you, Doctor, so let's just tell them where Murder Dog? Where is Mrs. Please. Please. Oh, right all right, all y'all, right up against the wall, right now, let's go. <laughs> you too. No, I'm not too good. This is a joke. Colonial Salt, I like my headquarters. Wait a minute, uh, I'm not so sure. It's a nice ticket and a hard name, sir. But officer, according to regulations, I have to warn you that anything you say will be used in evidence against you. This is the end. Why does the staff have to know me? They always check up on the single victim. She's not dead! She ain't denied it, is she? <laughs> Don't be so hasty, though. Appearances can be deceived. Was that 1990 anything to anybody? This has gone far enough. Officer, my name is Arthur Kennedy. I'm a theatrical producer. It's perfectly simple to explain a full ridiculous mess. It's all make-believe. A show? A play? You mean, like a fantasy? Exactly. These two are all actors. Oh, oh they are all actors. actors. So they believe. Say, that looks like... I thought so. Let me see. Catch up. Is it a fake? Yeah, we often use those in police shows. So, we've seen it made a mistake. <laughs> yeah. You mean anybody that? Uh, no, that was a misunderstanding. I had to report you to your superior. Don't let her yawn or not. Anyone with a modicum of intelligence would realize that this girl was going to be tender. Yes, sir. Hold on, folks. Bye, officer. Bye. Get up. Bye. Not everybody. Bye. 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 He's a drug. Drug? This is preposterous. Are you kidding me? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, you ain't going nowhere. Get back home now. No one's leaving here until we know more about this. You're not going to let anyone leave? Anyone at all? No one's illegal to drug people. Why? What made you do it? There's no use going anymore. You better confess, Danny Bosby. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, wait, officer, give me a break. I'll go off. I got it. I avoided you. You're gonna get us in trouble. Quiet, young lady. Take this all down. I'll go slow. Why? What did you do it? I had to do it, see? She had the goods on. She was gonna squeal. So I knocked her up. Yeah? What did you know? Oh. What did you know? She was a school bitch. She knew about the star car game. Say, that's what she was with. And she knew about the road dog. That's what it's looking about on TV. So I knocked it off. But I couldn't help it, I tell you. I couldn't help it. He made me do it. I stood as long as I could without not get in it any longer. You can't let him get here. He'll rub me off. You gotta stop him. Don't let him get to me. Oh my God, you know. You better take the ball and call the wagon sound. Yeah. No, you don't let that boy. If you do it, the building is going to a thousand pieces and you win. Get away from yourself. You may not be kidding. No, don't let him. He's trying to commit suicide. Can't you see it? He wants to make the easiest way out. Well, how do you make the bomb? I'll tell you. I'll tell you everything, but first, let me get this crime off my conscience. It's driving me crazy. Is this confession? Yeah, I'll even sign anything for this my torture car. Take it down. All right, go ahead. I never would. I couldn't stand it. She made me feel sick. I said to myself, how would you like some nice, warm liver and onions and warm, rotten beer curling up in your stomach? I began to see strange things. One time in Boston, 
I saw a girl run over by a steamroller. And she was squat, sweated and mentally. And her insides spread out all over the state. She was gushing like a fallen <laughs> Don't worry, this place is haunted. <laughs> The one with the knife? What's going on here? Hey, it ain't right to you, Martha. What did you do with her? I, uh, chopped her up. The little, the teensy, weensy pieces in a wooden bowl. Yeah, they're all in a wrap. Well, sweat, are you? They need some sweat, take them off. Officer! <laughs> Right, they brought you a bed to pull away the blanket. No! 